This Sunday's Grammys are shaping up to be the most competitive yet. From Taylor Swift Mania to SZA's groundbreaking album, the competition is stiffer than ever. Yes, yeah, so we recruited three music experts to give their predictions on who the big winners will be. Talk about a stacked category. John Batiste, Boy Genius, Miley Cyrus, Billie Eilish, Victoria Monet, Olivia Rodrigo, Taylor Swift, and SZA are all vying for Record of the Year. But who will walk away with the coveted Grammy? I think Record of the Year is going to Miley Cyrus because Flowers is a bop. <laughs> because when you listen to this song in the car and when you're with your friends, you just feel single and happy, even if you're not. <laughs> Uh, I think SZA, uh, Kill Bill, one of our most played songs on the radio, uh, that also flowers in strong contention. Victoria Monet or Taylor Swift with Annie Hero. You've got Taylor with all those hits and the huge year she's coming off of, but we have to think of the Grammy voters and I know that Victoria is a huge Grammy darling. The best new artist Grammy has been known to turn up and comers into superstars. But who do our experts think is walking away with the trophy? Best new artist is going to Ice Spice. I think everybody would say that. But Jelly Roll is going to be a close one. Everyone is so invested in him. But Ice Spice, I mean, she's just come out of nowhere and received so much publicity. Every other artist loves her, so Ice Spice is getting this one. I think Jelly Roll is the one. To go from being a drug dealer to one of the biggest pop stars and country stars, I think this is the year for Jelly. Best new artist is a tricky one. There's Coco Jones, there's Ice Spice, of course, um, but also Victoria Monet, and that is who my money is on. I I'm giving it to Victoria. And with so many great pop hits this year, who's winning the Grammy for Best Pop Solo Performance? Best pop solar performance is a toss-up for me. It's between Billie Eilish, What Was I Made For, that beautiful, just quiet song from Barbie, and then also opposite, Doja Cat with Paint the Town Red, which is just this fiery song about her and her life. Either one can get it. I think that's got to go to Taylor Swift, Antihero, Slam Dunk. Taylor Swift, Antihero. Come on, how can you beat that? Plus, we've all seen it. In the movie theater, on the stage, there's no way she's not winning this award. And last but certainly not least, who's taking home the Grammy for Album of the Year? This is the year of Taylor. She was absolutely everywhere from the tour that everybody had to go see and then the album. This is the year she gave us so many hits and this is going to be the fourth and she's going to break all the records. SZA, uh, I, I can almost bank on that one. She... Uh, had so many hits this year. She has been rumored for this award for, I would say, even since last year. I'm really thinking it is going to go to SZA for SOS. I know the Swifties are going to get me. <laughs> Taylor Swift has had a huge year, but something about that SZA SOS album and how beautifully she sung about doing horrible things to her ex <laughs> makes me think that it's going to get the win. Woo, I cannot wait, and we're going to be bringing you all of the action from music's biggest night. I will be with Laverne Cox, Heather McMahon, and Zana Roberts-Rossi on E's Live from E 2024 Grammy show, which I'm very excited about. You saw that name drop, right? <laughs> and I got you guys covered after the awards have been handed out on Live from E Grammy's After Party with Nikki Garcia and Lonnie Love.